Hey everyone, this is Alan here from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's our first 2024 BMW X2 M35i in black sapphire metallic. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW X2 M35i in black sapphire metallic. I just hit unlock. We got the kidney grill illuminated. Got the headlight welcoming animation on. I'm gonna walk all the way around this car before we begin taking a look at all the details. It's in a little bit of a tight space because we're in the showroom, so I will try to do my absolute best to give you all the different angles that are available on this car. And man, it looks so good now that it's cleaned up, detailed, ready to go. And just a quick peek there, tail lights, woo! All right, you know what? Let's get into all the details. Okay, so this is our first video on the production model U10 2024 BMW X2. Look at the hood line. So we've got a very faint line coming down this way, and then two coming right down the center, black sapphire metallic. There's the rondel right here. I'm just gonna step back for a second so you can see that kidney grill. So when I hit unlock, kidney grill lights up, interior lights, then this, the outer lights. Got M badging here, horizontal slats, and we've got that kind of diamond shape of the kidney grill that we also see on the X6 LCI. Now, down here, just to give you a shot, that's where the plate bracket goes. We've got these uh, interesting shapes down here on the lower grill. Air duct here, functional air duct into the brakes on the lower apron. We also have a camera on the front here. There's the other side. There's that new style headlights. Look at this. It actually has a kind of swooping shape, similar to the G60 headlight shape. But when you look to the side, these headlights are not raked down like the 5 Series. But there's a ton of little designs all these little lines on the side, double chevron, it says BMW right there, and we've got that amber marker there as well. I think the headlights do really look good. They follow the four uh, front headlight design language, and there it goes off. So now, we come around to the side here. So of course, M35 has the M Sport design, so these are the 21 inch Y spoke 874 M wheels in jet black burnished with that massive red M Sport brake back there. So 21 inch wheels on here looks pretty awesome. And also just wanted to show you, we've got this kind of molded front lip under here. So when we start taking a look at the uh, M Sport X Drive 28i X2s, I'm sure that that won't be down there. So just wanted to make sure you saw that. And we've got the M badging on the fender. Take a look at these body lines. So we've got one coming across just kind of through the door handle, but not really. It's a little bit faint. It's more of a shoulder line. And then we've got a line through the middle, another line at the bottom. And there's your rocker, M wing mirrors. Now look at this, just hit unlock. There is the M welcome light. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe this angle is a little bit better. So that's pretty cool compared to the X1. We have the new door, uh, new door handles. And we have fuel cap door on the passenger side. We've got Hofmeister kink up here. We've got the panoramic sunroof so this doesn't slide or open. It's just a massive glass opening. We have the new style antenna up top. And now let's take a look at the back of this car. So we've got quad tail lights and it's a really interesting design. There's some that are on the tailgate portion, some that are on the rear quarter portion. And the M35 also has a very distinguished M style rear spoiler that is different than the non M35 model. Now also just wanted to point out between these quad exhaust tips, and look how they're kind of angled. That's interesting. 
We have the diffuser down here, X2 badging, M35i badging, and this, there's a camera here with a little washer. This is the actual handle for this, but uh, we can also use our foot to kick. Now that we've got the hatch open, we've got the cargo cover, you can remove these strings if you'd like to take this out. We have a grocery bag hanger on each side, so not four grocery bag hangers like the X1. Netted area on the inside here, 12 volt plug, light for illumination, handle so you can get out, glow in the dark, and a plastic storage tub there. Now let's lift this floor up. So yes, we have even more space down here, and that's where you're gonna find your air inflator kit with a tow hook and wheel lock key. So once you put this all back down, there's actually a ton of space in here, which is really good to see. We have some buttons up here for lock, unlock. It looks like in other markets, there's still a place for your uh, first aid, safety kit kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and kick our foot underneath the middle of the car so we can get this to close the hands-free way. And honestly, compared to the outgoing X2, I think this looks, looks really, really good. So back to the passenger side, we hit unlock on the uh, nine o'clock position. This is 93 octane we're looking for. So there it is, fuel cap. Still have a place to put this and it's still clockwise to shut it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open the rear door here. So back here, looks like we've got the coral red slash back black interior. Harman Kardon, so that's similar kind of speaker vent that we saw in the U11X1, and even the door handles are very similar, as to be expected. Pockets down here, and from the factory, all the seats come tied up like this. So let me just undo the seat belts. It's just a little bit more welcoming. Now, just like in the X1, uh, the center seat belt can retract up into the ceiling, so you can actually use the buckle. Uh, can't do this well with one hand. Use the buckle to press this red button here to release this. So this can all retract up into the ceiling and there should be a magnet up there. Center headrest can flip up. Man, look at that clearance. <laughs> You'll definitely want to put this down if nobody's sitting here. Outer headrests don't really move. And three strings down here. So one, two, and there's another one over there. So pulling these strings will fold down the seats in a 40-20-40 split armrests in the center with cup holders so I'm going to imagine uh, yep pass through is just the string down here now up top we've got some reading lights handle coat hanger and there is your glass opening so this does not uh, tilt or slide it's just a massive glass opening to allow the light in and I just wanted to see do we have anything underneath here no we do not Back of the center console, we've got some vents, rear climate control, uh, rear uh, USB Type-C charging ports. We have uh, pockets on the back of each seat and some vents down here as well. Let's go open up the front door next. So there's that cool M welcome light carpet. Comfort access on the front door handles. Another look at the M wing mirror from this side. Interesting three-line detail here. I guess that's for aerodynamics. Open the door here. So inside we've got nice soft touch, beautiful stitching across, Harman Kardon sound system, right? We've got some pockets down here. Power seat. So these are the sport seats. So there's a manual under the thigh extension. We've got the illuminating M. And we've got some contrast stitching going around and M tricolor piping. So ultimately these seats look really cool. And then we've got this nice textured dash here with some nice stitching here, vents. We've got this, uh, this kind of aluminum uh, trim here. Open up the glove box, nice big glove box. We have iDrive 9 over here and down here. So we've got the vents, max front defrost, rear defrost, wireless charger with the little seatbelt, just like the U11X1, cup holders, 12 volt plug, two USB Type-C charging ports. And this is pretty well right out of the X1. 
storage space down here. Push this tiny storage space here. Let's go open the door on the other side. This is probably the furthest side view that I can get in the showroom. So we're gonna approach from the driver's side. And uh, if I just open the door there, so there's again that M door sill. It's just projecting from the bottom of the side mirror. This side, we've got the memory seats on the Harman Kardon speaker vent. We've got all four window controls, side mirror controls, tailgate controls, and I'm sure you can pull that with the key inside to close the tailgate. Here's the driver's side seat with the lumbar support. Again, those beautiful illuminating M's on the seats look great. We have the new style steering wheel here, M tricolor stitching, M badging at six o'clock, red marker at 12 o'clock. That looks really cool. Just gonna grab a seat in here. Ooh, these seats are so comfy. We have these uh, so these are plastic, they're not carbon fiber, but they do have the red grips on the back, just like the ones that we saw in the G80, G82, all the GM cars. Head-up display, iDrive 9. So let's just take a quick peek at some of the stuff that we've got going in here. So number one, let's go to driving settings. So in terms of driver assistance, let's see what we've got in this car. So parking, okay, so it looks like we've got automatic back park, front park, parallel park, come out of a parking spot. So that's just like the X1. Driving, let's see, okay. So this one does have the active cruise control that uh, mitigates the distance as well as the speed. And let's just see what else we've got. Okay, you can have the cruise control adapt the speed to the speed limit. And yeah, okay, so that's pretty cool. And in terms of, let's go back here for a second. Let's see what my modes they've got in this car. So sport, that's cool. Getting all the light, lights in red. And we have, what's sport option here? Okay, so you can individualize sport right from here and efficient. So again, you can individualize your efficient mode here. Okay, so this actually only has three modes, that's fine. And I just wanted to also see what the camera looks like in here. So we have full 360 cam. That's what your backup camera resolution looks like, really good. 180 degree uh, wide view of the rear or in drive it would be the front. We also have 3D view. So that's pretty cool that you can have that view. It looks like the, the car beside it is massive. Car wash view to help you align yourself to get into the car wash. So all of this is really cool. This is what it looks like up top here. So this just uh, opens or close the sunroof. This one also has the interior camera in here, so you can take some pictures uh, from making memories, or uh, if you have the interior motion sensor go off, it can also uh, send a picture to the My BMW app so you can see who's been in here. Okay, so I think I've seen enough of what's inside of here. All looks really good. Seating position is also really good, and these seats are very, very bolstered. Let's go and take a look at what is under the hood next. So we're gonna open this up. Down here, there is the hood release. So it's one, two, just as all modern day BMWs are. We'll come to the front. Should make it so we don't have to find anything here. We'll just lift this up. And there it is, the beautiful B48 two liter inline four twin power turbo. I actually really like this engine cover with the M on there. That looks awesome. And this is producing 312 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque, washer fluid, positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal is this post. Got the strut bar going across here, just like the uh, X1 M35i. And just wanted to see if there's any other cool things that I could see here, but nope. <laughs> So let's just let the shut properly and 
what do you guys think of the new 2024 U10 X2? All right, so we're gonna do just one more lap all the way around the car before we go ahead and conclude the video. So with the tail lights on, just a close up look at all the little details in there, just like so. And you know what else I'm gonna do? While we've got uh, access to the car, I actually wanna just turn on the four way flashers so we can see what all of that looks like. So there they are. That's what it'll look like if you're signaling. What do you think of the rear? Side profile. I really like the front. Front I think is very aggressive. Look at that. And once we get to the back here, this is what the key looks like. So we've got the M colors on the face of the key. And it says three times here, so let's test this out. One, two, three. One, two, three again. Shuts it off. What do you think of that cold start sound? Let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this brand new 2024 BMW X2 M35i in black sapphire metallic with the uh, coral red black interior. This car is available right now. So let me know if you want to make this car yours. If you want to be the first person to take home the first X2 from our dealership, reach out to me. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll have that pricing information in the description below. Follow me on Instagram for more updated content, uh, content, Alan BMW Durham. Other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.